Ow. Painful. Jeez. This guy is taking some serious damage. Alright. Switch to this baby real quick. Some more stim packs on me. There we go. shooting at me. Just a brute? Screw that. Give me that thing. So we all that. And just those. Alright, buddy. You can stop shooting at me now. not take kindly to mutants shooting at me. Oh. Oh. Well, shooting at me now. Jeez. These guys are just everywhere. Let's see here. I guess I'll take all that. This is amazing that I'm not overweight so far. Nice. Alright, so there's certainly someone up this way. Who is it? What is it? Is it a turret or is it a thing? It's a thing. No, thank you. Alright, I think it's about time to go in here and repair some stuff. Let's see here, what do we got going? No, thank you. That repaired a little more. Nice. put those together. Not that, this. Nice. Was that it? No, there's definitely something else around here somewhere. Just don't know where it is yet. Hmm. This blocks of rubble. I was hoping for some actual ammo kits or something. But nothing so far. Well, I ruined those guys pretty well. Felt pretty good. I'm definitely going to need to buy some more ammo for my guns. I'm running quite low for my tastes. Usually I find a whole bunch of ammo, but none right now for the hunting rifle. Thought there was something else. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Whoa, you are not what I was thinking was gonna be over here. No, no, no. No, thank you. 
Um, it's probably a bad idea, but I'm gonna try running up and giving him the old slasheroo. See if I can knock him down. Oh, you missed completely. Come on, knock him over. Oh, you failed. Well, that was not what I was going for. Ouch. You are one ugly son of a bitch. Come on. Just want to knock this guy over. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Now you are harmless. If I can finish you off. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. Certainly not that dangerous. Capitol Building West Entrance. Um, we are not going in there at the moment. I have a feeling that it is full of these guys. And right now, I am on a completely different mission. And that mission is to head to that Museum of Technology. Maybe later, perhaps. Alright, Museum of Technology, where are you at? Like, straight ahead of me. So what is this? Is anything important? No, it looks like it's buried by rubble. I was hoping that this door right here was going to be open, but... Does not seem so. It looks rather inviting, though. Yeah. I don't know. I guess not. Anyway, let's go make our way over to that Museum of Tech. Sounds good to me. At some point, I need to go uh, repair this Death Claw. I've not been paying attention to the condition it's been in. Let's see here, you got nothing. Nothing. Alright. Onward. I have a museum to raid. I'm hoping it's going to have lots of cool bits and bobs in it. Museum of Technology with some weird heads on top. Awesome. Hello. Wow, oh, it's rather bright in here. Whoa. More mutants, eh? That's good with me. Just a brute, huh? Boom. All right. Hi there. I was hoping you might not see me. And I could use it to my advantage. Nah. I don't feel like doing that. I would say the same to you, but you do not have a face left to scream. I will take all that. Nice stuff. 
Turn on a little light and search around. There's got to be something cool in here. X277 Viper Magnetic Rail Cannon. Holy crap. This is the only known prototype of the X-277 Viper Magnetic Rail Cannon, developed for the U.S. military by West Tech, also commonly referred to as a rail gun. The weapon uses energy cells to propel a depleted uranium round across a series of magnets, discharging it at extremely high velocity. Deemed too costly to produce on a mass scale, the project was abandoned in 2044. On loan from the International Ordnance Museum, these cases display the various types of weapons and ammunition used by the military in past conflicts all over the globe. I really wish that was still in there. And M199 Assault Rifle. Perhaps the most well-recognized weapon in the modern U.S. military arsenal, the M199 earned its nickname the Backtalker from the unusual report uh, the firing mechanism makes as it ejects a spent shell. Firing a standard 5.56 millimeter round, the M199 is still the official infantry weapon of the U.S. Army. On loan from the International Ordnance Museum, these cases... Okay, I'm not going to read that over and over again every time. But, um... Yeah, I think I've got plenty of the uh, assault rifles, so. 1861 Springfield Rifle Musket. That sounds amazing. The Type 1861 Springfield Rifle Musket was the standard weapon for the infantry soldier in the American Civil War. I bet it does a lot of damage, too. It was a muzzle-loaded weapon which fired a... 58 caliber mini ball using uh, percussion caps instead of the traditional flintlock. Almost a million of these weapons were manufactured for the soldiers during the war. I kind of think that Abe's uh, rifle is one of these things. So yeah, those things are probably pretty badass. Especially if Abe's rifle is one of them. I'll take that. Uh, this totally looks like a place where there could be... Could be... Uh, some pre-war books. I'm hoping. Keep my hopes up for those. A house with a bottle cap. Awesome. People really like to use pencils to design strange things, but there's only been one person in the wasteland that's been talented enough to stack them so far. We got going here. I'll take those. Don't care. Eh, nothing. Just figured I'd check anyhow. What is this? Museum information. Zero, zero, zero. All right. Uh, we got an exhibit guide. Transportation exhibits. The Museum of Technology is proud to present a journey through the history of ground transportation. Take a step back in time and see the original steam-powered car and the development of the internal combustion engine. Experience the rise of micro-sized nuclear power and walk through our two-story mock fusion engine to see what happens firsthand when you turn the key. Exhibit sponsored by the Chrysler's Building or Chrysler's Corporation. We've seen the building though. Robotics exhibits. 
Museum of Technology is proud to be the home of some of the original prototypes in the Mr. Handy, Mr. Gutsy, and Protectron robotics lines. See the development of these metallic assistants and how they've made our lives easier. Play our artificial intelligence game where you will program a robot and watch it obey your commands in real time. After seeing what makes them tick, you'll never look at your robot the same way again. I do not have a robot. Exhibit is sponsored by Robco and General Atomics International. Is that kind of like General Electric except uh, what they upgraded themselves to? Flight Exhibits. Take to the skies and soar above the clouds as you view your or uh, view our aircraft exhibits throughout the Museum of Technology. The original Wright Brothers Flyer, the vintage World War II P-51 Mustang, and several other aircraft can be found hanging about the museum. Also be sure to visit our flight experience gallery where you can take a simulated airline flight on board a, a full-sized jetliner or step into the hair-raising white-knuckle world of air traffic control in our Tower of Terror exhibit sponsored by Lock Reed Industries. Is that supposed to be a joke on Lockheed? All right, space flight exhibits. Countdown to excitement as you take to the stars in our brand new space flight gallery. Marvel at a man's ingenuity as you view an exact replica of the Virgo 2 moon lander that participated in the first manned moon landing. Dabble with forces beyond your comprehension in our working G-Force simulator. Ride or take to the stars in the Copernicus Planetarium, exhibit sponsored by the United States Space Administration. Alright, what else we got? Special events. vault Tech's Vault of Tomorrow. Thanks to a generous grant from the vault Tech Corporation, the Vault Tour is open to the public. Walk through a section of actual vaults and observe all of the modern conveniences vault Tech has added to its now legendary nuclear fallout shelters. Interact with the exhibits within the vaults and see just how life within one of these subterranean marvels is as comfortable as living at home. Time tickets for the tour are now available at the information desk in the main atrium. West Tech Power Armor. West Tech, the world's leading arms manufacturer, demonstrates the T-51B Power Armor suit in our Darwin Theater. Get a first-hand look at how the armor is designed to defeat any type of adversary with an actual live combat simulation using robotic targets. Time tickets are available at the information desk in the main atrium. Note that the note that a liability waiver must be signed to attend this event. Sounds dangerous. Lecture, Oppenheimer's Folly. A lecture presented by R.J. Gumby. Gumby? Okay. This lecture explores the very real possibility that nuclear war may not be as far off as we think. The effects it will have on the future of our planet and the effects. Uh, by illustrating past uses of smaller scale atomic weapons, Professor Gumby will shock you, frighten you, and make you wish you could just duck and cover to survive a real nuclear attack. Tickets are now available for this lecture series at the information desk in the main atrium. Awesome. 
duck and cover reference. <laughs>